Hey, welcome back to the channel. I think I did it. I think I got the cheapest Palmetto State Armory daggers that I could get. So I brought out my very first gun, my Glock 19. Super dependable. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm not going to stipple it. I'm not going to change the barrel. I put on extended controls and that was it. This is how it's lived for many, many years. Ultra dependable. But today I wanted to talk about the Palmetto State Dagger. And the one I was able to find was, I told you, it's going to be the cheapest. This is the cheapest that I could find it at. You might be able to work your magic, find it a little bit cheaper. And if you can, that would be awesome because the deals are there. And getting this at a great price is what matters. So this is the SW3 slide. It's the ECC slide. I believe that's the Extreme Carry Cuts. And it is milled for the RMR. It has the Ameriglow lower, one-third co-witness sight, so it's a little bit higher. Rear sights are in the front, and they are blacked out. I believe Matt said that he was thinking about doing um, night sights. That would be pretty cool. I like that. It's a good idea. Um, we'll be good in the future. So this is my very first taste, very first experience with a Palmetto State Armory dagger. So this is the Glock 19 Gen 3 clone. It has the undercut here, has the custom grip, which impressed me to begin with. I've seen people stipple these, change these out. It's not too abrasive and it's not too slick. Undercut, it's pretty good. Fits just right. And the beaver tail, pretty flush. Sights sit at a good height. And it is the lower one-third COVID in the sight, so that's pretty good. It came with it. How much do you think I paid for this? Comment down below. Oh, pretty awesome. So the SW3 slide has the three cuts uh, that are the same size. The SW1 has the has a slightly enlarging cuts. I also have the threaded barrel. So probably know what's going on there. It has like a uh, like an M and P trigger, which some people don't like. I do want to talk about that a little bit. It's that hinge trigger, so it does stop it. You just push the top of it right there. It does stop it. We'll show we are clear. It is a little squeaky because this is I haven't done anything to it. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't oiled it. And back to the trigger. So. See that bar right there, right there, right there, right? So push it on top. You gotta swing that bar up. So let's try it. Feel the wall, break, feel the release, click and break again. Not bad. I never shot it. So we'll see how that goes. So far, it's not bad. I'm okay with that. Reset that. And it does take the Glock 19 mags. Push it hard enough. It is that Gen 3 release. So you got to push it. It comes right out. Let's see how it looks again. Very nice. Color matches pretty well. You know, you do order these separately or you can order them together as a whole. It's up to you. Color matches pretty well. Clock 17. There you have it. Pretty good. 
if I do say so myself. Let's talk about price. Mm. Uh, I got this for two hundred and sixty dollars. Two hundred and sixty dollars. Now, I'm going to explain myself. You can find things a little bit cheaper, probably, especially with Black Friday right on the corner at the time of this video. However, if you get one of those basic daggers, you're not going to get the cuts. You're not going to get the RMR cut or the doctor cut, and you're definitely not going to get a threaded barrel. So $260 for this, this, and this, that's a great deal to me. And that's probably the best I can do. Now, the reason for that deal is because I have a great FFL. I've used them for a number of years. I've supported them fully and wholly in the past, and now they support me. So they don't charge me much, if anything. I pretty much have to throw money at them. So $260 is without excessive FFL fees. Now, I'm going to get them like a gift card for Christmas or something or a gift down the road, naturally. But $260 is what I paid for this. And that is an exceptional deal by itself. Can't go wrong with that. Now, I'm going to go into it just a little bit more. I love the grip. The grip feels great. If I had to nitpick, it's going to be right here, right at this bump. So this bump here, I can feel it. It's not irritating, but it could be. And right over here, I'm going to move my finger right there, right there. So I don't have fat hands, but... I want to say they're medium, but right there, I feel that. And I'll, and I'll get used to it, you know? What else am I going to do, right? I'm not going to drum with this, even though I can. Right there. But yeah, I'm sure if I was putting thousands of raw... Pretty sure if I was putting thousands of of rounds through it. Uh, yeah, I would do something about it. But, you know, this is a fun range gun. But I definitely love this frame. It's a well-made frame. It feels great. Now, what am I going to do with this? What did I say? I said that I was going to introduce the newest red dot that just came out. And what could that be? Hmm. What, what do I have around here? What do I have around here? Ah, well, it's in the CD box. And luckily I have it right here. This is the Wolf X Pro. Now, I know you're wondering what this is, and I made a video about it. So you can check out that video too, but I'm just going to get into it real fast. Basically, it's a duty grade Sealy Optic, Wolf X Pro, 7075, side battery chase, shake awake, and your choice of three reticles, just like Hollow Sun. Now this thing is $220 on their site. It just came out maybe a week ago. That's about $260 on Amazon. Of course, this is all before Black Friday. However, if, if you look at my video, I have a coupon code, which is a pretty, which gives you a pretty good discount. There you go. And this is an RMR pattern. So let's go right on here like this. There you go. Now I won't mount it up just yet, but if you go to my Wolf X Pro video, I have it mounted up just a little bit so you can take a look at it. Now, back to this. 
I do have to say one thing is that it did come with a with a plate, which is nice. This is nice of them. Now this is nitpicking, but you know, if I was one of those, those guys that that wanted to, you know, save for a red dot, it would have been great to have the plate match the gun. Of course, I could always just spray paint that myself. Not really a big deal, but having the black plate to remind me that I don't have a red dot. Well, just got to live with that too, right? Now, what are my plans? What are my plans for the PSA dagger? Well, I've got two. The first one is going to be this guy right here. What is that? Now, you guys know what this is. It's one of these. Where does it go? I'll be right there. So I'm going to make another video about that later. Once I get this guy on. And. I'm going to do something with this. And you'll have to just. You're going to have to just subscribe to find out what that is. I'm going to make a video on that. Pretty soon as well. So thank you PSA. Providing a very affordable Glock 19 Gen 3 clone that looks and feels amazing. Can't wait to take it out and shoot it a little bit. And I'll probably pick up another one. Probably like every one of you. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Oh, I just remembered one thing. Where's my sticker? <laughs>